Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And today we are going to talk about pets. The one thing that is very near and dear to our hearts and vegan lifestyle. And why you probably should not be trying to force that vegan lifestyle on your pet and before we get into that now why not click that like button or smash it may not want to smash it that might hurt your computer or your phone or whatever device you happen to be watching this on you know I don't know other people seem to throw that in their videos I figured I would just toss that in there who knows? Maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. But hey, I'll just throw it in there and leave a comment and subscribe. Why not? Okay, so let's uh, get into this here. So this is an article from a website called She Knows. And she does know. This is written by Julie Sprinkles. This is actually last year, April 20th. As a vegetarian and former vegan, I must admit my interest has been piqued lately by an emerging trend in animal care, veganism in pets. Knowing all of the health and ecological ethical reasons I personally subscribe to such a diet, I can't help thinking could this be a good thing for my dog too? More ever wanted to kick back and enjoy cold beer with your dog? Well, now you can. <laughs> Seems like an appropriate thing to put in, to put in our uh, an article about vegetables. <laughs> While I'm not sure my sassy pit bull chocolate lab mix, Iggy, would be terribly enth enthusiastic about cutting meat out of her meal plan, I'm certainly willing to give it a shot if it's in her best interest. Well, how do you know what's in your be dog's best interest? So in the name of my dog's potential health enrichment, I decided to do some research. Here's what I found. What is pet veganism? It works the same way for pets as it does for humans. In adopting a vegan diet for your pets, you would commit to abstaining from feeding them any food that comes from animals. This includes dairy as well as animal products. Why are people doing it? Well, this is where it gets tricky. For humans, the reasons can range from bettering our health to making the choice based on our personal beliefs about ethics, religion, or even the environment. Although most pet owners would agree that animals do have feelings and relatively evolved thought processes, they aren't capable of making those kinds of decisions for themselves. Do our pets get angry at us? They might if you force them on a vegan diet. This means that some people who choose a vegan diet for their pet are ascribing their beliefs to their pet's diets. Their viewpoints are carrying over into what they feed their four-legged companion. However, there are also documented cases of pet owners like blah, 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 blah. Uh, is it even healthy for pets? Well, when I asked a pet specialist who has over 15 years of experience in medicine his thoughts on whether or not a vegan diet for pets was healthy, he explained, in the wild, dogs and cats aren't vegans. Their bodies are set up to eat meat, and this is something that I feel should continue in their domesticated lives. Guess what? Humans are the same. To try and feed a true vegan diet to your pets would be very difficult. To have a complete and balanced diet, I wouldn't recommend it. Is it possible to ensure your pet is getting enough protein with a vegan diet? Well, according to blah blah blah, it's simply not advisable for cats, as it goes against their physiology. However, she says for dogs, certainly vegetarian and vegan diets can be done, but they need to be done very, very carefully. There's a lot of room for error, and these diets probably are not as appropriate as diets that contain at least some animal protein. This certainly seems to align with what Dr. Bruce told me. Um, anyway, what's the bottom line? 
Most experts seem to agree that a vegan diet is definitely not a good idea for cats. There are even well publicized cases where a vegan diet nearly led to feline death as they are obligate carnivores, meaning they essentially need animal protein to survive. However, there is evidence suggesting that dogs could conceivably live on plant-based diet, but it's not recommended. Like cats, they are classified carnivora, but unlike cats, modern dogs aren't obligate carnivores. They've adapted over time to an omnivorous diet. Without specific instructions from your vet, it's yeah, blah, blah, blah. Now it's just going into a... a um, uh, are these vegans? I have no idea. Anyway, um, so let's let's take a look at a few things. Okay, I have one dog, and we've got five cats. Uh, one is one is very old. She is us. How old is she? Seven, seventeen. No. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Let me think about this. She is. 17 yes she's old we have another one and she's uh i think she's like 14 and then we have three boys and they're much younger and they're like three years old i believe all right so let's take a look at uh cat food for a moment so there is uh some specialized uh, vegan uh, cat food that you can get as you can see so there is some stuff that you can get that you can get here um, I think if you go to a pet store you might be okay and I think if you give them like a healthy balance of stuff so I mean like with 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 the cats that we have I give them I give them a variety of, of different things we have like three feeders and so I like fill one up with like uh, like indoor like the the indoor type of cat food it's like a green indoor mix or something like that and then I have like a seafood mix and then I have like a different type of mix but the but then I try to just get like a variety of different type of stuff uh, so that way they have a they have a variety. I'll tell you which one does not get eaten, and that's the uh, like the indoor mix. <laughs> that's usually the last one they go for. <laughs> they always go for the seafood one, and then the the other one they go for is like the one that's got like the the steak. I mean, I tell you what, let your pet decide. All right. Put out two different types of food. Try you you've you've try you've got different types of food right here. Try uh try a meat based food. Try a vegetable type food. Um from a pet store. Okay, something that something that's gonna be healthy, alright? Set them both out. Dogs will probably eat anything in sight. Um I, it's probably not healthy to switch them from one to the other like in an instant may, may have to do a, a transition or something but let them I don't know instead of forcing it on them uh, let them choose let, give them at least a choice I mean at least I can tell like with my cats like which food they prefer so I don't know but anyway, um, I noticed that on YouTube there are there are all kinds of things on here where people have tried to force their pets uh, into eating cat food or not cat food i'm just happen to see this vegan cat food but can dogs and cats be vegan are pets vegan blah 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 so yeah. 
pets are vegan, here's why. They are not. Sorry. They aren't... This guy's... I'm going to be polite. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> so... Yeah, there's... I don't know. But anyway... that That's this whole thing uh, here. But... I don't know what 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 do you think about this whole thing? I, I'm I'm curious. I really don't think it's healthy. I don't think you should be forcing something on your pets. Um, I think it's very easy that you can put the food out in front of them. Um, I think pets are relatively. I think they're more smarter than uh, than we can give them credit for. I mean, I. I, I look at my pets and they seem pretty darn smart to me. So, uh, why not put a different variety of food out and see which one they like? I don't know. How about, how about give them the courtesy of letting them choose instead of trying to force it on them? And for that matter, what about trying to force a vegan diet on your children? Is that right? Do you think you should be doing that? There's been cases where um, uh, babies have died because mothers have tried to force a vegan diet on their babies. And I don't know. What do you think? What do you think about this whole thing? I don't know. Comments. That's what they're, that's what they're there for. And uh, other than that, uh, there'll be more rambling videos. So... Stay tuned for another one. We'll see ya. If you enjoyed my rambling videos, well, then I hope you enjoy these. I make these from time to time on a variety of topics, depending on what inspires me. Hope to see you around, and thanks for watching.